Hi, it's Maya. Welcome to Deep Dives. This is where I get the opportunity to speak with someone who's passionate within our church about different issues, topics. Um, today I'm talking with Irene and we're continuing our conversation about prayer. Can you elaborate more on that? Like it's not, um, it's not, it's not waking up always at 4 a.m. to like have my little set prayer time yeah. and do this. I mean, it's, a, you know, we're supposed to pray without ceasing. And so how does that like, Right. Tie in to each other. Sounds, well, the beautiful sounds... thing is, is that Jesus says that we worship God spirit to spirit. You know, there, you know, is spirit and truth, right? Mm -hmm. So our spirit is very much aware of what's going on all the time, 24 seven. Our soul, which is our mind and emotions tend to be in charge a lot because that's where you're operating. But really your spirit man is supposed to be the one operating all the time. To get to that place of allowing your spirit man to be the lead, we have to spend time with God. When I say that, knowing Him, knowing His Word. You know, I, I will not get to know God unless I spend time in His Word. Mm -hmm. And really ask God, you know, what is salvation? What does this really mean? Mm -hmm. What, you know, what did that look like back then? You know, you, you, you explore the Word of God with God, who is the Word, made flesh, right? So right. Jesus, did all that for us to learn and to understand where his heart is for humanity. And the beautiful thing is, is that he, he's always pursued man. Mm -hmm. From the beginning of, the, of Genesis and to the end has been all about God pursuing man mm -hmm. and having that intimacy with man. So a lot of that has to do with spending, yeah, like really knowing God's word for yourself. You know, I can read it, I can hear it, but until it becomes alive inside me, and it, you know, like all of a sudden there's this awakening, and I'm like, oh my gosh, God will supply all my needs according to His riches and glory. He just revealed to me that He's going, that that's who He is. He's a good daddy, and He's going to take care of my needs because this is where I'm at right now. Right. Um, like um, I was just thinking about like Jesus and the, and and, um, and the disciples. You know, disciples were like, how do we pray? Right? Mm -hmm. So how do we do this stuff? You know, he's seeing, they're seeing Jesus. Mm -hmm. He would go up to the mountain. He would do things, right? Mm -hmm. And he, that was, he was separating himself and spending time with God, right? But the cool thing is, is that, and I, I'm gonna go back to the, that because how we were just talking about how do we pray ceasingly is more of being aware of God. And the only way we do that is by practicing that in our daily life. Like, okay, I go to the grocery store. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to God. I'm like, Lord, yeah. do I really need this? Do I really need that? Mm -hmm. You know, um, I'll talk to him or see somebody in the store and I say, and, and I feel moved, I'll start praying for them, mm -hmm. right? Um, so it's a continual uh, flow from him to me because I have learned to stay connected to the source. Mm -hmm. He's my source. Right. And so, and that takes, that takes practice. When I say practice, getting with God, allowing him to enter your world, allowing him to correct you when he has to. Believe me, I had a lot of corrections and I'm still learning, mm -hmm. but allowing him to um, dismantle things in your, in your heart where maybe you have put like, um, like let's say you were um, abused in some way, you have, you have a structure erected because you're not gonna let anybody hurt you. Mm -hmm. But now Jesus wants to come in there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, so, but in your spirit to spirit with God, there is this constant communication. Mm -hmm. It says in the scriptures in Corinthians, it says that, you know, the spirit searches the deep things of God. Your spirit is seeking and searching God. You just may not even be aware of it. Exactly. Yeah. I, we're constantly trying to seek truth while also tangibly trying to hold on to the lies that we've thought were truth. He's constantly trying to show us that this is not, this is not real. This is not truth. Let, please just let it go so that we can move forward. And that, I feel like that's the whole process of, like you said, like it should be a daily thing where I'm, I am allowing him to come into every aspect of my life, right. whether it be the grocery store or me driving or whatever it is. And it should be that building of a relationship where it's not something I switch of turn on and off when it's convenient. It's something that's always on and I can always just plug up you to the plug source. In. Yeah. Exactly, and your spirit is always in connection with God. So that to me is exciting mm -hmm. because I am constantly 
without being aware, getting downloads from God. So that's why sometimes you might be somewhere and you might have this feeling of, oh God, I gotta pray for this area. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, there, I feel heaviness. Well, your spirit picked it up. Yeah. <laughs> your soul's going, wait a minute, what's going on here, right? Mm -hmm. and, it, and then your mind said, okay, we gotta do something about this, we gotta pray. Mm -hmm. So I think that's pretty cool because we never get disconnected from God unless you choose to be disconnected. God is not gonna you know, push himself on you. Mm -hmm. He wants to develop the relationship, but it's up to you to want to develop that relationship. And it's up to you to be open enough to allow him to come in. You know, um, one of the things I think is pretty cool, and I was, um, I was talking about uh, the disciples when they said, oh, how do we pray? And, they were, and God gave them a beautiful, you know, way of how do you pray? And um, one of the, the, the first, the beginning one was, he goes, go to your father in heaven. That, I thought that was pretty interesting because he was like, go to your father, which is your daddy, who's going to provide these things for you because I am forever, Jesus is saying, he, they, he didn't say this now, but in later on the gospel, in the gospel, I mean, not in the gospels, but later in the letters, he says, um, I am forever making intercession for you. Mm -hmm. So Jesus is our mediator and he's already making intercession. So I think that's a really cool thing because Jesus, you know, when you're coming to God and the Lord's saying, yeah, I paid for that. Yeah, yeah I did that father. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And part of getting to really know God is to know the names of God, to know who he really is. And I feel like we don't spend enough time allowing God to deposit that truth in our hearts. Because if we really believed, then we would not fear. If we really believed, then we would not be shaken because things are going crazy in the world.